Capernaum, a man's station is limited only by his imagination. The movie The Greatest Showman tracks the life of Phineas Barnum, or P.T. Barnum as we know him. Ladies and gents, this is the moment you've waited for. He had a challenging childhood that only grew worse after his father died. So, when as an adult he meets the girl of his dreams and falls in love, Phineas is determined to painstakingly create a good life for her and their future family. If you could dream something up, anything, what would it be? Perhaps he could open a museum, he thinks, but museums require ticket buyers. I think I've had an idea. And ticket buyers require inspiration. What about a museum-esque show with unique people? Very short, very tall, very heavy, a lady with a beard. After all, every one of us is special and nobody is like anyone else. He could create a spectacle of theater, acrobatics, and amusement. Wouldn't crowds flock to that? And wouldn't it also give people who faced rejection all their lives something of a family to call their own? This well-made and well-choreographed musical takes some liberties with its storytelling. And there are a few drawbacks in the form of burlesque-like outfits, some drinking, and brawling. On the other hand, the film powerfully underscores the importance of fatherhood, the value of every individual, and the significance of fidelity. I'm giving The Greatest Showman four prancing elephants out of five for family friendliness. For an in-depth review of this film or anything else at your local box office, check out PluggedIn.com. Plugging you into the movies, I'm Cheryl Wilhelmy for Focus on the Family's Plugged In Movie Review.